Australopithecus afarensis, Lucy and her relatives. An anthropologist in Africa called the earliest known group of hominids, or early humans, Australopithecus, meaning southern ape. Donald Johansson called Lucy's group Australopithecus afarensis. The second part of the name refers to the Afar Triangle, the part of Africa where Lucy was found. Through their studies of Lucy, scientists have learned a lot about early hominids. By assembling her bones, they know something about what she looked like. Lucy was short compared with humans today. She was three to four feet tall. She also weighed close to 60 pounds, they believe, so this puts her at the size of a first grader. She had a mix of ape and human features. Her arms were long, but her hands and her feet were similar to humans. She had a large head, and her forehead and jaw stuck out from her face. The remains of other hominids like Lucy have been found in the same area. Scientists guess that Lucy's relatives lived in Africa about three to four million years ago. How are hominids like Lucy related to later hominids and to us? Anthropologists often disagree about the answer to this question. One reason may be that anthropologists have so few clues to work with. Bones as old as Lucy's are very hard to find. Even so, most anthropologists agree that Lucy and her relatives were very early forms of humans. One discov discovery about Lucy was especially exciting. By studying her skeleton, scientists found out that she was a biped. This means that she had the capability to walk on two feet. This gave Lucy and her relatives many advantages compared with animals such as gorillas and chimpanzees. With their hands free, the hominids could gather and carry food more easily. They could also use their hands to defend themselves and their children. This biped trait was one key way in which Lucy resembled us. But in other ways, hominids like Lucy were quite different from modern humans. Lucy's brain was only one-third the size of ours. Uh, scientists have not found any remains of tools from Lucy's time, and the study of Lucy's remains indicate that these early hominids likely could not speak.